Hello everyone and welcome to the Linux in dot com. MySQL is a relational database management system and it is a database behind many applications nowadays. This relational database can be accessed from the terminal which helps to the DevOps engineers and system administrators. So let's try most used and popular commands of MySQL in the terminal. First, let's connect to the MySQL. If you have already installed MySQL on your Ubuntu machine, you can easily connect to the MySQL by using the command sudo mysql-u root-p. Now in this command, dash u is for user. The root is the username of mysql and dash p is for the password. After entering this command, you will be asked to enter the root's password. And after entering the root's password, you will be logged into the mysql. But if you have newly installed mysql, then it won't ask you for the password. If you want to set or change the password for any user of the MySQL database, then you can use the alter user command like this. In this command, replace the username root and password with your username and desired password. Now, if you want to view databases, you can view the list of databases under the users granted privileges by running the show databases command. As you can see, it has listed out all the databases. Now, if you want to create a database, the creation of database can be performed by typing the create database if not exist and database name command. Now, this statement will not create a database if there already exists a database with the name that you are providing. Now, you can use any of the listed database or the newly created database by using the command use db1. If you want to create a table, a table can easily be created by using the create table command and by defining the column names and their types in the parentheses like this. Now in this query, the tb1 is the name of the table. Column 1 and column 2 are the names of the columns of table 1 and in and what jar are the data types of the specified columns. And in the end, column 1 is defined as a primary key. Now to list all the tables in the present database, run the simple command show tables. As you can see, the newly created table is listed. Now if you want to view the structure of the table, like column names, their types and their default values, they can be seen using the describe command desc tb1. Now if you want to insert some data into the table, data insertion into the table can be done by providing the column names in which you want to insert data and data or values using the syntax insert into table, column names and values like this. The two rows are inserted perfectly fine. Now if you want to view table data, the select statement is used to view the data of a table. You can either provide the static symbol for selecting all the columns or you can provide the specific columns that you want to view. Alright, now if you want to delete some data like a row from any table, then you can do so by providing the table name to the delete from command along with the where conditional clause like this. Now if we take a look at the table again by using the select strike from table 1, you can see that the first row is deleted. Alright, that's there. Now if you want to delete a table, deleting a table is just like saying it. You can delete any table in the present database by running the drop table tb1 command. Now if I run show tables command here, you can see that there will be no table in the database db1. Similarly, if you want to delete or drop a database, you can simply use the drop database command with the database name or we can also use if exist clause as well. Now if you take a look at the list of the databases by using the show databases command, you can see that the db1 database is deleted. So these are some of the most used and popular commands of MySQL that we can perform in the terminal of Linux. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in some other video on linuxin.com.